the random data has been changed, right? Hello, I'm Rui. It's been a long time since I started programming YouTube and blogging. I've been trying to do YouTube since last year, but I have to be bothered to update the app. I'm managing and uh, develop the Android app, but I'm going to start over. As a new macOS came out, a new design method was called the Swift UI. So I'm going to study again with this new Swift UI and make a video. Swift 5 has been announced with Swift UI at WWDC 2019. In the past, we divided up the code and the UI by separating the Swift S3 board. But we can check the Swift UI right in the old code. You can make UI with a program. And every time you make UI, you have to check check it out. But Swift UI is okay. Let's make the table view, which is commonly used in the web into Swift UI. The topic is to show the animals in the zoo. I make a project. The project name is Swift UI on the bar table. Swift UI shows coding in real time as a UI. Here is the text that appears on the screen. Let me add another text. Press the plus button and drag and drop the text. This allows you to choose where to press it. Let's add it under the existing text. Text has been added automatically and also called the freeze tag. Freeze tag aligns the two text to each vertical. Edge tag aligns the horizontal rule. Let me change it. And I will add an image. Now let's put it on the left side. I use the thumbnail image that I prepared for the image. I'll change the font option for the second text. I would like to make the font smaller and change the color to gray. And I will sort it out to the left. Since the two textures are merged into full step, I'll add an alignment option to full step. Hold down the command, press H, step. And then press list to sort like a table view. Now, let's create the data. Well, I will make the new animal name, count, and some names. I will use what I have prepared for the picture. This material can be downloaded from GitHub. First, create an array and enter the corresponding data. It's easy, isn't it? I replace the data that I've entered randomly with the material I've prepared. The random data has been changed, right? I will add corner radius. Press the plus button in the upper right corner to search for the corner and add it into the image. Let's make each cell button. Add the navigation view to use the push and back function of the corresponding view. Press add a name to make a loop. And I will add add button. Can you see the button on the right side of the list view? 
going to put text as a test. I'm going to run it. Well, that's good. I will divide the cell in the list. Press the command button and press the navigation link. Then you will see the list and press the extract soft view button. Then the code will be broken down and you will be given the name you want. I will give you the name animal cell. The code looks better. Recreate the array because you need to receive data from that cell. Uh, let's create a destination view for navigation. I'll make a big image like this. What a big image! I will make it fit on the screen. Well, sometimes you want to see it big, right? I'll make the image bigger when I touch it. Let's create a toggle object and change the image set as, a, as it becomes a toggle when touching. That's even better. It would be more natural if you put in animation. I will add more text to let you know how to touch the image. I will move the image name up to look good. Hide touch the image text by checking the toggle status. Text is on the left, so touch to specify a hidden location on the left. Connect the temporary specified destination view to the view you just created. I will check it out then. It's over now. Let me test it. Well, that's good. Let's switch the dark mode and edit to this update. It's simple. Just add an option to content view below. Or I'll make it bigger. It's over now. Let me check the code again. We put the pre-made cell on the list and we added the option to it. And when I press the button, I set another detail view. It was created by reference to the WWDC 2019 image and document. Thanks for watching. And I really appreciate if you subscription to my YouTube and like it. I will answer if you ask me in the comment. Thank you very much. See ya.